So welcome to Inside edX, Julia. This is Julia Forsyth. Um, we have where we are right now in edX is we have we're in the Teacher for Learning module, and we've checked out the scenario from Bueller, Ferris Bueller, and we have checked out the overview, the objectives, the outcomes, and now we're gonna have some real talk about this module. Uh, each of these modules had a, a main developer. And for the Teacher for Learning module, we looked no further than the Center for Pedagogical Excellence, that is Julia Forsyth from Brock University. Um, so we'll have a chat with her to see how she feels and what she thinks about this module. So welcome, Julia. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's very exciting to be here. Awesome. Um, so what were your intentions with this module when you made it? Well, the great thing is when I joined the team, um, it had already been established that we really wanted to base the Teacher for Learning uh, module on this excellent book, which I highly recommend. This one? I, that's the one. Um, and it, uh, you can see that mine's a library copy. I recommend every teaching center have a copy of this. Uh, when I went to a conference once, uh, the educational developers called it their Bible. So oh. um, anyway, it's a really great book and it's, it's helpful. And um, it had been decided that that would be the basis. And what I was really happy about was that this was the first module um, that they wanted to be um, out of the gate because at the foundation of everything is student learning. And mm -hmm. so that's why how learning works is, is one of the most important uh, elements. They are all really important and they're definitely interwoven as you'll see as you go along. Um, so I wanted to kind of make it less just um, a reading activity, but more, and this, as you'll see, the, the whole course is like this, that um, it's, it's something to be done and experimented and played with and be really fun to try new things and look at the concepts in a really hands-on and meaningful way. So it was, um, I hope a lot of the activities are really fun. I've, tr I've done all of them myself, so I love them as well. Did we ever ha hand you your badge then, if you've done them all yourself? I haven't gotten my badge. Oh, I'll get I was on. wondering, where do those badges go? Where do they live? Do they I live, they live wherever you want to put them, but okay. they come from the uh, the uh, eCampus Ontario passport badge. Yeah. Well, as a developer, I didn't submit them officially for you know authentication, so okay, well, I'll have we'll, to do that this time around. We yeah. will. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you just tell us a little bit about your the process you went through to to design it? Well, we tried to do it highly collaboratively. So I worked with uh, a Valerie and the rest of the, the eCampus Ontario team. Um, so we, each of us were a lead, but we definitely had um, collaborative documents open. So as we were adding and writing, people could check in and, and make sure that we were on track. I basically used the book as the framework. So every mm -hmm. single um, sub-module is one of the chapters in the book based on mm -hmm. one of the, uh, the seven principles. And, um, and it was an iteration. So we started with, um, I, I really started the way that I always work is you begin with the end in mind. So I always sort of started with the assignment or what kind of um, outcome you wanted uh, from each of the things. So um, uh, what, what do we want to do to accomplish at the end of it? And then we would lead them towards it. And then there was some, you know, typo checking and adding and clarification. Um, it was, we had a really interesting section on um, the one about uh, achieving mastery, mm -hmm. talking about um, threshold concepts, which itself is a threshold concept. So it was really good um, because I, I ended up having an, my own expert blind spot about threshold concepts. So it was good to have other people come in and say, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and so kind of, okay, I need to explain that more. Um, so yeah, it was a it was a collaborative activity. Very cool. And I have just one more question. What do you hope people get out of this module? Well, I really hope that at the core of all of uh, their activities, um, that that learning becomes the heart of it, and so that you are able to. Um, think about your situation, whether you're a teacher or an administrator, that you're looking at. Um, you know, the, the most important activity is the student learning and how can we achieve that and how can we support teachers to achieve that. So if you're an administrator, like I work in the teaching center, so I don't often get to work directly with students when I'm working with faculty. And mm -hmm. so, um, you know, 
in the book, we have there's the, all the scenarios that are really common kind of issues, and maybe those will come out so people can um, talk to each other about um, some of the challenges that they have and then how they overcome them. And I'm hoping that each of the activities really kind of open new pathways of collaboration and thinking thinking about different ways of getting at uh, improving student learning. Wonderful. I can't wait to see what, what people do with this. That's great. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Good luck. It. I can't wait to see all the stuff. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's get in there. Thanks. <laughs>